filming? Yes. Okay, part two. Okay, obviously when you're driving, don't have the radio on because you want to listen to it. Some some unscrupulous sellers might put a radio on to um to sort of try and hide something. Okay. Another thing to test, quite important, is the heater. Okay, so put it on full, put it on the front dash, feel it, see how hot it is. Yeah, this one's fine, I know it is. So you know the heater's okay. And you can just use what windows, use the windows because sometimes it can be expensive to fix windows. Same with door locks, you've got to have all your door locks working. If they've got a, a city thing like this one has to make the steering wheel light, press that and see if the light comes on. As you're driving around again, look out for any lights that might be coming on, oil lights that might be coming on when you go around corners. Um, any of the brake lights coming on when you go around corners. So, and then as, again, the brakes you can do as you're driving. Oh wow, it's really light. Um, and just have a, have a use your your own observation skills to see things. Okay, so when you get out, we'll park her up and then we'll go underneath and show you what to look out. You don't even have to jack it up to do a lot of these checks. I mean, you can judge 49,000 mile quite well by the way they drive because some cars can do 49,000 mile and been hammered so just use your own sort of common sense and look at the vehicle so when you're outside that vehicle you can also in here. okay you can use use your nose and smell you can look at the brakes and see if they're binding. You can even put a hand, and if one's binding, you'll smell it. It's a very sort of acrid smell. Same with this one, you can put your hands on there. Check for the wear on the tires, okay? What this would show is if it has had a bad accident, okay, and the tracking was out. Sometimes it's not a bad thing to see old tires on cars because somebody might put new tires on to hide a fault with the steering or the tracking or the car. So check the surface of the tire okay check the even wear okay you don't want to see say a third of the tire being worn out before the rest of the car okay you can even get down on your back and have a look okay so you can go underneath the car and have a look around and see what you can see a little bit of oil isn't really anything to worry about make sure it's all relatively clean okay but cars are going to get dirty check the CV boots which are the rubber boots these rubber boots here they're your CV boots you can check them now quite a hazard if they are split and you don't get them changed because basically that joint inside has to be lubricated and what might happen is if it throws out all of its um, oil or grease um, it may get hot and seethe and lock that wheel, wheel, that, that wheel up so it's quite important to have your CV boots in good condition they're not a massive job, they can be a bit time consuming and messy I mean sometimes it's easier to take a drive shaft off and just put another replacement on if you can find one cheap and then it's a lot easier as long as you can guarantee that one and if you don't do a lot of mileage check the bushes which are the rubbery bits around these these anti-roll bars just having a general look see if there's any impacts that have been made with the engine in accidents you can check for any stress marks in the chassis as you're looking on same with the brake pipes and the fuel lines make sure they're all tucked up make sure there's no rust holes make sure there's no damage of the top wheels where people have curbed it okay so as you can see on this one it's in quite a good nick really okay same again check for any new parts that might have been fitted check for just general sort of wear and tear as you're looking around tires a bit low though I might put some air in that okay when you go up in the boot oh, I can't open the boot when you go into the boot as I've opened that door you can also check on these hinges so just give the door a lift if you think there may be an issue with it check around the tops of the roof and how these doors fit together and also how the sunroof fits together often a stress will come through the roof so just use your observation skills on that sunroof and make sure it's all fitting well 
have a general check you can sort of get a history of how the car's been used or whether it's been abused by the state of things that you find make sure it's got all your goodies make sure it's got spare wheel jack brace um it hasn't got the um thing you tie into the thing because i pinched it for another car okay have a look at the boot see if there's been any damage to the boot okay so you can lift up the carpet and check to see if there's any crinkles or any new rivets or anything that shouldn't be there okay you also might find the odd pound coin in the boot okay so it's pretty obvious that one hasn't had an accident and again you can judge for how old the car is and how it's been looked after by how much crap is accumulated underneath panels and whether there's grease I mean this has still got factory grease on it okay so again you can come back to the back of the car have a look underneath again the same thing you're looking for any accident damage that may be on the back end any replacement parts that may indicate damage okay again you can look at the state of the car and make a judgment on your own experience okay check your brake pipes check your tires again same as you would on the front check for any uneven wear all right and as you're at the exhaust when it's running you can also look for the residue on the exhaust if there is any okay so when it's running you can check for blue smoke lots of white smoke and that might indicate again an issue with the engine you may even have oil in the exhaust which will obviously could be coming from your turbo okay so it could be a blown turbo that's passing it through your exhaust which means it will be going through your cap first which could mean it's buggered your cap same with the doors open the doors make sure they all work and check the state of the hinges that just shows the state of this thing i don't even think anyone's been in the back so there's that one and she is for sale this one i just thought i'd use it as a demo to people buying a car i mean general knocks and bangs on a car i don't think is a problem because it shows it's been used but anything where these panels don't fit okay you want an even gap down all of these panels slightly amazed at this on a lot of puntos it's quite sharp all right mate okay again look at the doors the way the doors all fit together the way they fit together down at the sills look for any damage of the sills okay again just keep your eyes open i mean this thing passed its mot with flying colors so you could put a bit of faith in that but they won't necessarily tell or let you know if the car's had an accident and obviously if it's all if it's only a third party vehicle how do you know if it's had an accident and it's been repaired you buy something that's uncategorized or comes from someone who's got third party insurance and they've repaired it themselves you, you never know the history so just use your your own wits now as for telling the mileage of a car this one's like 40,000 49,000 mile yeah. all right so if you think it might have gone around the clock and done 140,000 mile 149,000 mile then use your own observations oh god use your own observation skills on it okay and this one says when you turn it on it's all nice all of the little leds are all there so you can you can use that as a bit of something to go on as 49,000 mile okay but you can still clock these and change them so go for the physical things okay look for the wear on the steering wheel is it an even wear or is there no wear on a low mileage car okay same with on the stalks look for the wear and the dirt on the stalks same with the gear stick does the gear stick feel nice and tight and does it not flop around and does everything work that it's meant to again look for wear on the gator here if it's got over a hundred thousand mile on it even the gator would have worn okay now you could go and replace all these items but to be honest it's not really worth it um again use on the handbrake has it has it got lots of um wear on it does it feel nice and tight okay these are things again that can show you quite an obvious one is the state of the pedals look for the wear on these pedals see if there's any even wear again you can replace all these parts but it's up to you to use your own judgment again the carpet look for wear on that carpet and see if there's a hole on the accelerator or on the brake worn by the heel and then you can go into looking at the wear on the key have a look at the key and see if there's any wear on that key to show that it's been in and out in and out lots of times which might 
sort of make you think, well, it's done more work than it actually has. Again, you can go for the state of the seats and see how all these things are nice and tight. Again, this tends to get a bit of wear. So look at that, a low mileage car like this one should actually show no real wear like this one does. The doors as well. Have a look at everything that's going to be worn in a car. This part of the seat and this part of the seat will show a bit of damage if someone's been using this car a lot. Same with the seat belts. You can look at the damage of the seat belt for any fraying because that would kind of give you an idea of a vehicle doing more mileage. Okay. Uh, what else is it? it might show high mileage um, check the lights check all your indicators work because obviously it, it can be tedious having to do these things but it could mean you get the vehicle a little bit cheaper than what what you should do okay check for any history so it's always handy to have some owner's manuals because if lights come on and you want to look up what the light means then go for it the other thing to look for is um, the number for the radio that can be a, trigger. What, that could be trigger? that could be a bit awkward if you haven't got a code for the radio and it's usually wrote could be wrote anywhere so always look for a number if you see a four figure number somewhere wrote on the visor or in one of the books and you haven't got a code you do get a certain amount of code you can put in so it's always worth maybe trying the code but obviously find out how to do it because some you press the number one two if you need a six at the front you go one two three four five six one two three four okay so check it others you have to type in if you want a four a three and a six you actually type in that number so that's another thing to look at but you can google all these things um i'm, I'm pretty i'm pretty much trying to think of what else i can tell you to, to let you know about these things to try and not let you get done because too many people out here are selling bad cars and i just sell cars as they are i mean this one was sold on ebay but because the logbook hadn't come through the guy said he didn't want it so that's okay so um take care i hope this helps you all see you later bye